With its keen eye on the most sinister fears of our childhoods, the visit proves once again that horror is where writer, director and producer M. Night Shyamalan should set up camp. It's both an assured return to form for the filmmaker and a welcome spin on his usual formula, where comedy sits comfortably alongside genuine frights. Ed Oxenbould and Olivia de Jong play Tyler and Rebecca Jameson, young siblings traveling to rural Pennsylvania to meet their estranged grandparents for the first time, much to the distress of Catherine Han's single mother. Hi, Mom. An aspiring filmmaker, Rebecca wants to document the whole thing as a form of therapy for her mother, whose reasons for the bad blood with her parents remain a tightly kept secret. The journey is told through the lenses of these two kids, which brings a great candidness to the visit. We not only get to see the remarkably natural chemistry between Oxenbould and De Jong, but we're invited into their desires and anxieties through straight-to-camera confessions and interviews. Of course, the found footage approach is primarily employed to unnerve us once Rebecca and Tyler meet their grandparents, known only as Nana, played by Deanna Dunigan, and Pop Pop, played by Peter McRobbie. Though initially warm and fuddy-duddy, things quickly turn weird once Pop Pop sets a peculiar bedtime rule, one the pair inevitably break as they creep into dark corridors with their cameras pointing into the blackness. What they see through their monitors marks the beginning of a perverse series of events as Rebecca and Tyler quickly realize their grandparents may not be quite who they thought. There's an awful primal fear buried in this concept, assisted by wonderfully unhinged performances by Dunigan and McRobbie. I was just cleaning it. The scares in the visit are relentless and utterly ridiculous, but that's the point. What separates the visit's flavor of horror from Shyamalan's previous efforts is an enormous sense of fun. Dunnigan in particular adds a freewheeling lunacy, her slight frame and skittishness employed to hilarious and terrifying effect throughout. The two endearing kids add to the comedy. Instead of being ciphers for the horror, they are keen commentators of it, spinning jokes out of the terrible things they've seen and keenly hypothesizing on what could be stashed in Pop Pop's mysterious barn. This could come off as pretentious in the wrong hands, but Oxenbould and De Jong never once veer into self-aware territory. Like all of Shyamalan's films, there is an emotional heart to the visit. While it rings true for the most part, it's occasionally over-illustrated, and a groan-worthy moment crashes the otherwise thrilling climax. Similarly, a heavy-handed final sequence could have been snipped without losing anything. Still, the visit is great fun. It's genuinely funny while still managing to tap into our dark fears of the familiar becoming terrifyingly unfamiliar, of sweet suddenly turning to sour. It's also Shyamalan's best film in years and should be celebrated as such. For more on the visit, stick with IGN. Would you mind getting inside the oven to clean it? Ah!